Hey everyone, it's Jason and this is your midweek cruise news update and we have a cruise ship without running water. You need to be aware of this cruise line as they could take your cabin away from you. And I need your opinion. Would you prefer to be on a cruise where they make no unnecessary announcements? So cruise story number one, we have a cruise ship without running water. Can you imagine showing up to your cruise and there was no running water? Well, this is what happened on the Voyager of the Seas out of Cetacevicchia, Italy. So passengers reported that they got on the ship and they went up to the buffet and there was no running water. So they couldn't get coffee, tea, any water. They said they went into the public restrooms. None of the toilets were flushing because they had no running water. Couldn't wash their hands. No running water. They went to their cabin as they became available and no running water in their cabins. They called down to guest services and they were told, we're so sorry, sir. At this time, we don't have running water and we don't have an ETA. Now, this was on the Voyager of the Seas, as I mentioned, Royal Caribbean. And they said before sailing, about an hour before, water came back on. And they didn't make an announcement. It was basically word of mouth that it got around that they had running water then. I can't even imagine you let people on a ship. And you have to wonder, if this happened in the United States, would they have stopped it? Because they probably would have. I've been... I don't know about you, but I've been Coast Guard inspection two and a half, three hours. There's nothing you could do. We got there early. We were ready to board. It was, you know, 1030. We were ready to get on the ship. We had an early check-in. And it wasn't until 130 that everyone was starting to allow to be board the ship. Just what it is. But no running water. I'm glad they got it fixed and, you know, he said the person that posted it originally on Reddit said, updated, said they had no issues throughout the cruise three days in, so they were good. What do you guys think about this? And have you ever experienced a cruise where there was no running water? So cruise story number two, and this one's got me fired up. So imagine you plan a cruise and you're about 20 months out because you want this specific cabin. It is a corner extended balcony. You're on Holland America and you have two other cabins with you because you have extended family. And you're checking back. You're in the system every so often. I do this all the time. You check on your cabins. You log into the system. Well, you're about four months out from your cruise, almost at final payment. And you look and you see that your cabins, all three of them, have been changed. So you call your personal vacation planner. You book through the cruise line. And they don't know why either. So they get a, sur a supervisor on the line. And the supervisor says, oh, that's because you agreed to the terms and conditions. I'm like, excuse me? You know, those terms and conditions that are like 732 pages long that 99.999% of people don't read. Well, apparently in those terms and conditions, that extended balcony is a quad. Meaning at any time, if Holland America sees fit, they can take that away from you because you only have two people in that cabin and they can sell it or reserve it to someone that has four people for a cabin, making more money, of course. It's a greed thing. Now, I'm not so upset necessarily with that's their policy. Makes sense. Hey, if you want to do that, but don't bury it down into the paperwork. Make that an alert that the personal vacation planner has to tell you about and you have to check mark and agree that you could lose that cabin at any time because you only have two people, not four people. Or you just don't sell it to two people. It has to go to three or four people at a minimum. And it's not available for two people. That makes total sense. Why on earth sell it to someone where you could take it away? What do you guys think? And has this ever happened to you? Can't wait to hear from you in the comments. So before I get to cruise story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, we have a new goal of 120,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. If you could help me reach that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, and how do you feel about unnecessary cruise announcements? 
And I'm not talking about like on the first day when they're announcing, hey, make sure to check into the muster station or we can't leave. I'm talking about the cruise director coming on multiple times a day saying, hey, we got game show bingo or whatever the heck it is in 10 minutes or this show or that show. Look, we all have an app. We have the paper. We can figure out what we need to do without announcements. So someone wrote into John Heald, the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Line, and they're like, what's up with the five, six, seven announcements a day? We don't need that. Now, John Heald, if you don't know this, is a former cruise director. So I think he took a little bit of offense to this and saying, hey, we just want to make sure that people understand and know what's going on. So he conducted a poll. And he asked, would you like those announcements to be made in the cabin? And this is blows me away. 15,000 people responded and 60% said yes. Not do you want us to do less announcements? Do you want me to pipe them or us to pipe them into the cabin? No thanks. How do you guys feel about this? Would you like a cruise where they made no announcements? Just make push notifications in the app. That's all you have to do. It's an amazing thing. Hey, the game show starts in 10 minutes. You may want to check it out. Oh, thanks. I don't need an announcement multiple times a day. Can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on this one. So I appreciate you guys watching. Over the next 10 days, we will be in Alaska, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to post. I've heard Wi-Fi isn't that great up there, but if it is, I'll make sure to do cruise news. So I appreciate you guys so much for the support, and until I talk to you soon, happy cruising.